Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's video we are going to do a basic automated solar panel. Let's go ahead and get started. So, as you can see up here, we have our green cable and our red cable. I spray painted all of my data connections green and all of my power red. It obviously just starts out as red. But I've done this because sometimes things like the APC and the battery charger like to steal all the power. And that means that your computer won't run the program that you want it to. So if you separate it out, all the power can go into an APC and then power your computer. And the data can stay completely separate. This keeps it from crossing that power over. Uh, I've also put my daylight sensor on the end of my data cable. So we can go ahead and come down here, oh, not into the crater, and start programming up the computer. Obviously you need to put a motherboard logic inside your computer, and then you can go ahead and fire it up. So if you look at the daylight sensor, um, you can see how it reads. So it's reading 44 degrees, 45 degrees. So I found that when the sun rises, the solar angle is 90 degrees. At the middle of the day, so at noon, the solar angle is at zero degrees. And then at uh, dusk, it again is at 90 degrees. And this makes it a little tricky to try and figure this out. But I will show you exactly what we need to do here. So let's go ahead and we want to create a new state. So the conditions, I'm not going to start at dawn, I'm actually going to start midday. So we're going to go to the daylight sensor. We want that to be have a solar angle and obviously half a 90 is going to be 45. So we're going to do, it is less than 45. So obviously you think the beginning of the day it starts at 90, slowly goes down to 45, and then once it, oh, that is greater than, less than. And once it gets less than 45, that's when it's going to switch, and we're going to make the solar panel go to the neutral position, or at 50% of its angle. So our action will be solar panel horizontal now we need to check but now we want to kind of just make sure we know uh, which direction this needs to tilt so at sunset oh, we're gonna rotate it we'll rotate it 90 degrees you may have to rotate it yeah, 90 degrees like this just to get it to uh, be kind of in the right orientation there we go so we're looking at the vertical aspect of it now, so it says vertical, so 50%, that's what we want midday, so we want vertical at 50 midday, and then let's tilt it down and see what happens. Okay, so we want vertical at zero at the end of the day, and so that would mean we want vertical at 100 at the beginning of the day. So let's just turn it to 100. OK, that should be perfect there. OK, so it's going to start at 100, it's going to go to 50, and then it's going to go to uh, 0. Now, you could do this as many times as you wanted. You could do. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, all the way down, but uh, just for ease of this programming, uh, we're just going to do three, and it does give you pretty significant, significant amount of power, so that's what we'll do. So we will get back to the programming here. So now, if the daylight sensor, so this is midday, remember, is less than 45, we want solar panel, we want vertical, and we want this to be 50. There we go. And then we'll make a new state. 
And I find if you use this little scroll thing on the side, it doesn't always jump around. Let's see. Hey, look, it didn't jump around. Okay, so now condition two is going to be daylight sensor. Power critical. I'll turn my light off here. Daylight sensor. And now it's going to go 45 to 0, and then it's going to start increasing again to 45. So just so it doesn't get confused, I'm going to do solar angle is greater than, and I'm just going to add 1 to 45, so we'll say 46. This is just so it doesn't try, if for some reason in a split second it were to see, oh, it's less than 45, Oh, it's greater than 45, like right, right in that split second there, which I don't think would happen, but I like just to leave one number different, so then there's no way. So it's going to wait all the way until the sun gets to 46 degrees, and then our action, so this will be solar panel, we want it vertical, and we want it to end the day at zero degrees. So now, we're going to create one more state. And you would think that you might want to have it once, once that, uh, once the, um, you might think that once the daylight sensor sees sun, you want it to spin around. But that takes a little bit of time. And if for some reason your computer were to lose power, then you'd kind of be stuck. So what I do, I'm going to say conditions if the daylight sensor is a solar, if the solar angle of the daylight sensor is greater than, and like I said, it will end the day at 90. So I'm going to say if it's greater than 89, so that will be at the very end of the day, it is going to take the solar panel and change the vertical and that's going to change it to 100 okay now what we should do is just to clean it up a little bit we'll change the name so this will be midday this will be sunset and condition 3 this will be sunrise now, obviously, this won't happen exactly at sunrise. This will technically happen at sunset, but that's how the panels will be facing when the sun is rising. So now we want to make sure that each of our next states is correct. So we'll say, so midday to sunset, sunset to sunrise, sunrise to midday. Okay, there we go. This is all programmed. Now you just have to wait and obviously it isn't midday right now, so it's looking for that midday. So we actually want it set so the solar panels will see the sun in the morning. So we'll click set to sunrise. And this, it, the solar panel, yeah, it should work out perfectly there. So. Now it's going to be in this state. The second it sees that sun, it's going to say that it is in the state and it will start to work. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, as you can tell, I've sped it up quite a bit. But in the morning, your solar panel will be facing directly to the east. And it's going to wait, and I'll skip it forward here. It's going to wait until it's at 45 degrees, and then it's going to flip to, there we go, to vertical. 50% so that's halfway then it's going to wait for that sun to get all the way down to the other 45 and it will flip again and then it'll wait until nighttime here and right before it gets completely dark right now yep it's going to start to flip over and it gets all ready for the next morning well I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, it is a pretty simple system and as you can see I'm planning on expanding it. So I'm going to call this my basic solar panel automation video and my next video I put up is going to be a more advanced solar panel automation video and with that 
I will have it so the computer turns off at nighttime, and I will have it so you can really stack up as many solar panels as you want and do no more programming. If you like this video, leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave that below. And uh, please, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.